cannabis has been cultivated and used for thousands of years by many civilizations across the globe. Even my ancestors. I was born and raised in Scandinavia, so I thought that cannabis had no part of our culture. I mean, historically. So today I want to talk to you guys about the Norse people, the Vikings, and this mystery. Hi babes, Lady S here. Before we begin, if you want to have a conversation about cannabis, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell down here below so you don't miss anything. Now, back to the video. The Viking ancestors had been using hemp for their cores and their fine textiles. An archaeologist has found cannabis pollen dating back to 200 AD in Sweden. And as far as we know, we are not sure if they produced it locally or if they even had other uses for it. But there's one curious finding that might give us some clues. Back in 1904, a Viking ship from 800 AD was discovered in a burial mound in Norway. And it's called the Oseberg ship. I am not sure if I pronounce this right. Oseberg? Oseberg. Oz Oseberg. Anyway. And skeletons of two women were found in the grave with the ship. Evidence suggests that it was a burial of pretty high status, but no one really knew who these women were. But one of the women is suspected to be Queen Åsa, the grandmother of the first king in unified Norway. However, because she had a little pouch with four cannabis seeds in it, some people believe that she was a seeress, which is the female version of the North mythological shaman. Indeed, Germanic paganism associated cannabis with a love goddess named Freya. So she might have used cannabis for her rituals. Sowing and harvesting cannabis were conducted in Freya's honor, along with an erotic ritual called high time. Some people believe that she was using it medically as well, as she was suffering from arthritis, and alleviating properties of cannabis had already been discovered back then. And Vikings also had a superstitious belief about afterlife. So who knows, maybe they intended for the women to use these hemp seeds as some kind of building block or building material in the afterlife. And some other people think that the seeds were just placed there for rarity. I found no real consensus amongst experts on why the cannabis was there in the first place. So I guess this remains a mystery. Or does it? Hmm. But one thing is for sure though. They knew cannabis was highly prized and an exceedingly useful plant. So what do you think? Who were these women? How did the Vikings consume cannabis? As a ritual? Medically? Maybe even recreationally? Or did they only use it for textiles? Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> I think we can all agree that not every ancient practice or substance use is necessarily good nor bad. And cannabis, like everything else, has its benefits and its harms. We should be aware of them. But it's also false to say that it's a new substance, like I believed back in my Sweden days. The relationship that humans have with cannabis is even older than democracy. So I think it's interesting to see all aspects of it, from a botanical perspective, scientific, cultural, and even an historical one. This plant is full of surprising facts and stories. If you'd like to know more, please follow me on this journey of discovery. Thank you babe for watching and click the thumbs up if you liked the video and please share if you want. I see you next time, but for now, be mindful and stay curious. <laughs>